Jer is in the hangar in the tower. He's currently selling the Season of the Splicer seasonal armor set. If you guys were not here for this armor set, I highly suggest a lot of these pieces. Specifically for the Hunter, we're going to be looking at the arms and the cloak. The chest piece is also a piece I'm currently wanting to get because it looks really cool. And I am out of all of the transmog materials, so I'm going to be using this set for another set that I just made. So that's, I know it's a stupid explanation, but uh, I have a I have a certain theme that I want to go with and the chest piece is going to be really good with it. The helmet and the boots are probably the pieces that I probably would tell you to ignore because they're pretty forgettable. Although if you guys have enough, I would suggest all of these pieces because all of them can be used in multiple pieces. So for the armor, we're going to be looking at the light king grips. I, eh, it's, it's very in the middle. I, I'm whatever's to me the chest piece is actually pretty good uh 16 and mobility is pretty nice recovery at 12 is okay and then dis discipline uh discipline in 20 is pretty cool as well helmet 26 on recovery is pretty nice a uh, two on resilience and mobility is pretty whack though i'm not gonna lie to you and then for the strides we're looking at eight 16 and eight mm, i'm i i would pick this up but I don't know. It's pretty good because once you master work this, you'll have a 10, 18, 10. And then at that point, you could put like another 10 on mobility or on recovery. Either way, as for the Titans, I think the arms and the chest piece and the mark are probably the best portions from this whole set. I think the helmet and the boots, same thing as the Hunter, are kind of forgettable. So the arms I really like because of the fur on the shoulder. Not only that, the like weird, like, not barnacle but like the weird like thing on the arm looks really cool as well the chest piece is really cool because of the fur in the back just be aware that the chest piece the two things on the sides actually change color differently so they are asymmetrical just be aware of that and then the mark itself is really cool the only issue i have with it is the 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 like fur goes all the way up to like almost your stomach so it is a little bulky but i still think it looks really good especially if you're trying to go for a fur look uh as for the armor itself we're looking at a light kin gauntlets for 19 resilience which is really nice for the chest piece we're looking at a recovery of 30 which is really filthy if i were you i would probably just go all in with recovery so that way an, another armor piece can just go with a high, like everything else heavy except recovery so that way you can have a 20 I don't know this is really good because you can do a lot of things with this one you can do another recovery for 40 you can do another 10 for discipline so that way you can get a 34 you can go with resilience you can go with intellect you can do a lot of things with this chest piece so i recommend picking this one up for the helmet it's very in the middle of the road for me i like i like the fact that it has high high recovery and discipline but it's not high enough to like warrant 10 mobility and then the Boots are also kind of the same thing, but this is a little bit better. This is like, if you don't have anything good, then this is pretty good. Last but not least, we have Warlocks, which I think you guys got the best chess piece out of that whole season, because let me tell you, this is grade A. This is like the best right now. Whoever designed this needs a raise because this chess piece, it gives me life. So the arms are going to be actually really good as well don't overlook those the fur is really cool and you can combine it with a lot of things not only that the elbow cover is actually part of the arms which is really cool and which is another reason why i like the arms the chest piece again like i said the chest piece is really cool a lot of pieces just look super cool with it so i really recommend at least getting the chest piece uh, the bond is also really cool, especially if you want something a little bit more simplistic, something that's not going to take too much away from the whole set. The helmet and the boots, again, are going to be the one pieces that are kind of, you can ignore these, although the legs for the warlocks is a lot better because uh, the bandages look really cool with specific sets. The helmet is the only piece that is just straight up terrible, if I'm being honest. So as for the armor sets, we're looking at lightkin gloves, which are terrible because that's way too high of a mobility for me for the chest piece it's also pretty terrible but just pick it up so that way you can you can have the transmog for the helmet it's pretty decent but i don't know i would skip these as well and then for the boots i think this is the best one here i would i would recommend these if you don't have anything better 
as for the weapons themselves we have whispering slab with hip fire grip and sympathetic arsenal which is straight up doo doo butter friction fire with field prep and rampage i would recommend this if you don't have a good kinetic for uh if you uh, if you don't have a good uh kinetic submachine gun that's the only reason why i would say this one other than that i would probably stay away from it if i'm being honest because base 26 magazine is pretty terrible i mean you can bump it up a little bit more but i i just don't like smgs that have low magazines uh for survivors epitaph we have pretty interesting roles here so we have what okay so it's changing it was kill wait 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 can i get that now uh i'm so confused okay so slight shot in this Ooh, that's pretty good it's pretty cool okay wait so like this is my first time actually seeing this does does this mean that i can like grab whatever change it whatever it changes to kill clip and kill clip just kill this is funny so i mean i don't know i'm not gonna get another one because i already like the to be fair i already have a bunch of these so i don't even know why i bought it but whatever uh, toil in trouble with threat detector and uh snapshot sites with assault mag which is pretty foul i definitely would recommend this if you don't have a god roll of this already which i already do uh empty vessel with surplus and swashbuckler i'm gonna ignore this because i'm not really big on on grenade launchers bad omens with a tracking module and cluster bomb i would recommend this if you don't have that already you might never know cluster bomb bomb might get buffed again if it already didn't i don't remember and then fool's remedy with feeding frenzy and quick draw which is straight up doo-doo butter for the other weapons we have hawk moon with range finder and alloy magazine disappointing dead man's tail with vorpal weapon and high caliber rounds i probably would pick this up and then for the other stuff we have the colony which is an okay grenade launcher we have stompies with pretty interesting role i actually already picked this up so i'm not going to pick it up again but i would recommend this if you don't have a good stompies uh the acd's feed uh feedback fence with very mediocre rolls and then the car scene armlets with terrible rolls so that's pretty much it let me know what you guys are going to be picking up in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media links are in the description below i thank you all for coming up to this point and i'll see y'all later